made your own mind. I don't know why I came, but that this isn't for me. I got news for you, what you got's not for me either, so it's a trade-off. I didn't come here to curse you, I just came to shine. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. <laughs> glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It may not be the best, may not be your choosing, but you got to admit it's better than what you got. Well, glory. Get something better. Get something better. Get something better. Get something better. Be filled with the Spirit of the Lord. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Every single one of us, we got something that stops us without God's help. But God has helped us. And whatever has stopped you, God's already taken it captive. Now why don't you agree with God and give it up? Tuesday I had to see a DNR man. I got a situation where there's a lot of people got some nice little cottages on the lake they heard that there was this preacher from detroit that's got a lot of a lot of black friends they ever get down here we're in trouble <laughs> but they keep on asking what are you gonna do i, I don't know just going to work that's all just working that's all just working what are you going to do, though? I, I, I'm going to work. So they call the DNR and everybody else. I just keep on working. Clearing brush, making it look pretty. DNR came out and said, well, you know, you, you shouldn't do this and that, and you got to change that. I said, okay, whatever you say. I just gonna keep working, just tell you what I can do, but I can't. So I had to do some restoring. Came out Tuesday, I prayed before he came. I said, Lord, let me have favor with him. And he said to me he'd gotten there late and so I'd gone to call. And so when he got finally on the job site, I I wasn't there and he had all the freedom just to probe wherever he wanted to without me. And I walked up and he said, you know, he said, you did an excellent job of restoring this. He said, you did an excellent job. So said, this is kind of a hard thing to do. He said, you did a good job. He left. I got that big D8 dozer. There was a spot that he didn't say I couldn't. And I figure if he didn't say I couldn't, I could. I got that dozer, that great big 10 foot blade on it. I started pushing dirt. I pushed dirt, pushed dirt, pushed dirt, pushed dirt. They came in a pontoon boat. They came over. They came looking and watching. And I just kept pushing dirt. Leveled that thing off. Oh, it was pretty. It was pretty. Why? God had given me favor. 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 My wife said, well, maybe you should just stop where you were ahead. Uh -uh, I want everything that's coming to me. I want it all. I'm not going to stop, devil. If it's mine, then I want that too. I want that corner. I want that corner. I want that corner. I want that corner. It's mine. I'm not going to back down. It's mine. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Whatever has been making a slave out of you, 
God's already led it captive. Why don't you see how free you can be in Christ? Why don't you rejoice in it? And they're going to bring the service to a close. Stand with me. You're the saints that must make a decision whether you're really going to get a hold of God or not. Because tomorrow's church will be determined on what we have right now. This is the time to break free. This is the time to realize that God is for you if you'll agree with God. God is for you. I just look and see God do tremendous things. But you got to realize, praise God, it's not like it was. There was a day in my life when it seemed so hard to gain an inch. It seemed so hard just to hang on. But the longer you come to know Him, after a while you realize this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. And I see victories that come so easy anymore. And I hear God saying, how far do you want to go? How far do you want to trust me? How far do you want to go forward? I thank the Lord for the ministry garage. And it's such a wonderful thing to go into a place that's a part of secular life. And find that it's God's territory, God's property. Look and see God's will being done by saints of the Most High God. Looking and seeing glory to God's name being exalted. Looking and seeing God making it work. Making it work. Thank God God can make it work. Looking at a school in the middle of a city of Detroit, kindergarten through 12th grade, and watching God make it work. Look all over, look out and see a field all cut nice the way it ought to be. Look and see things that God's doing through people, realizing that God's, God's alive in this moment. God's moving in this hour, but he's got to move through people. He's got to get a hold of our lives and our hearts and our spirit, and it's got to be something that happens with your wish and want and desire. There's been something being generated over the past in your life. Don't you want that victory? Is it something you see in your spirit? and realize God's put the thirst and craving inside of you. Now realize in this moment that those things that have made you a failure, they're prisoners right now to Christ. Everything that's made a fool out of you is a prisoner to Christ. Everything